listen i tried the whole pigtails thing you know that's been going around the internet listen not not a good idea because one side of my head has way more hair on it than the other side and i split it right down the middle and it was just you know i should just leave it to the professionals because um everybody else i feel like looks so cute with their little pigtails the little high pigtails like in the back and i'm over here like Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a music and makeup, but I obviously don't have the makeup on already. I'm going to do it kind of like I used to and just start with the fresh face instead of filming the outro or the intro last and then importing it because I don't actually know what type of look I wanna do. I mean, I wrote it down, but I haven't practiced and I haven't pulled anything out because I don't really know if that's still the look that I want to do. So we're just going to start this way and hopefully it turns out okay. Um, today's video is for the first, whoop, today is the first video for my next series which is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande and I didn't actually plan to wear the hair and the shirt and do the look but that's that's what I did. The shirt was on first and then I was like, let's try the pigtails. And then I looked at what I needed to film and it just turned out to be this look. So, you know, it's just one of those things. I hate these pigtails. Don't be surprised if they end up coming out before the end of the video. Um, but today is for Needy and I'm really excited because I actually have everything wrote down here on my phone. I always plan this out for like the whole album, but I don't know if that's still what I'm going to do. And I have had some issues with my camera these past couple of weeks. And um, I'm hoping that everything works out because I will be very upset if I have to restart. But make sure you subscribe to my channel, help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers, and let's go ahead and get started. I feel like you guys are at an angle almost. And like, I have little baby hairs. I didn't use any hairspray. I literally just pulled it up because I was like, everybody looks so cute in their pigtails. I want to try. I don't feel like I look cute in pigtails, but you know. We're here, and we're gonna rock it. So, let's go ahead and pull the palette out that I wanted to use. I wrote down James Charles for this video. Um, when I actually planned these looks, this particular album out, it was before I went to Scotland. Like it was, I think, yeah, that was before I went to Scotland. It was over a year ago, over a year. So I've had these looks planned out for this particular album for a long time. So I don't know if that's still what we're going to do. I'm gonna take the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer today and prime me always. I might do one eye and then do the other one off camera so I don't really know what look I'm gonna be doing. This might help speed things along. So I'll do the right eye and then I'll do the other one off camera just to speed the video along hopefully. You guys, I'm feeling very, very chatty today, okay? I'm feeling very chatty. I'm in a good mood. Uh, yesterday was my first day of the new school year, and I am a senior now um, in college, <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to graduate in May of 2021. Uh, for the reason that I have decided that what I'm studying is not going to be what I'm going to pursue. I'm still going to graduate with the degree that I've been studying for the past several years, but um, everything else has kind of changed. So I have a major in, or majoring in psychology and I have a minoring in criminal justice. Well, I've decided that I don't really want to do that anymore, so I'm actually going to swap to something else. Uh, I'm still going to keep psychology. I'm not going to keep cr criminal justice because I want to do something completely different. It has nothing to do with psychology. So I'm literally basically starting my whole process all over again. So I will be graduating probably in December of 2021 because I'm going to switch to a concentration instead of a minor. Um, but I don't want to give away too much detail because what I want to do is not actually any anything related to psychology so um but I am just gonna finish the degree because I mean I'm like I'm almost there 
So I'm first gonna take the ColourPop Blue Moon palette and I'm going to take the shade uh, Moonlight and use that as my transition color. It's this shade right here. There we go. Yeah, so what I wanna do is not psychology related at all. So I am uh, basically going to finish the psychology degree be just because I'm almost done. And then I'm going to literally start all over again. Um, but I don't want to say exactly what yet because, you know, things change and plans are up in the air right now. I don't really know because I'm not going to continue on my education at the same school that now, I don't think, um, just because of expenses and stuff but i might i don't i don't think so but i might but i'm pretty excited because um i did add like possibly four years onto my schooling um that i didn't originally plan on so i mean you know it's fine but i'm i'm pretty excited i think this is the first school year really in my entire life that I have felt like I know what I'm going to do and that makes me very very excited because I was you know I'm in college and everybody's like oh what are you going to do when you graduate and I was always like well you know I haven't really decided I don't really know what I want to do and now I have an idea I have a vision and I'm very excited about it I do have to get through the next basic like three semesters here to get my undergrad because I am swapping out my criminal justice for something else. Um, the only reason, well, I don't know if I'm actually getting rid of criminal justice because, I mean, I've made it this far and I do find it interesting, but I feel like the concentration would just help me more in what I want to do, but I haven't fully decided because, you know, I can't change it until next semester anyway, but I'm, I'm pretty excited because if I kept my minor, I would have to, I would graduate in May of 2022 instead of December 2021 um, because I was, if you watch some of my older videos, I was a environmental science major for a long time and then I switched and then I had an environmental science minor and then I swapped that out. So that's it's my own fault because I decided to change majors. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. I am also very, very nervous because now what I want to do is very intimidating. And like, I'll definitely tell you guys more like as time goes on and like graduation gets closer and, and I have a final destination in mind. Right now, I don't think I've publicly shared where I go to school. Although really, you could probably figure it out. Um, but I'm, I'm nervous about it because I've never done anything really like this before and you know the school mat now while it's a good university it's great for nursing and psychology it's not so great for what I want to do it doesn't even have a program um, similar it has like an undergrad basic course but it's, it's not actually like the career or degree that I'm going to do so you know real talk just thought I'd fill you guys in because I'm feeling very chatty and you know sometimes I like to tell you guys things now I'm going to take this monster palette this is the Morphe James Charles I did a review over this about a year ago and now they have a smaller version but this is like the big big one and it is huge okay it's huge let me just show you ColourPop James Charles like massive um it doesn't even really fit in my drawer all that well but the shades in here are amazing you can say what you want about james charles um i personally have never watched any of his videos other than this one um but he made a great palette so regardless of what you think of him the palette itself is beautiful and it is great pigmented and amazing so i am going to take the shade cola which is this one right here i'm gonna put that in my crease today this look is very blue that's what i wrote down um, apparently needy makes me feel blue. Um, not like sad, but like the color blue because I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but yeah, no, the uh, music and makeups are planned out 
mainly months in advance. Like I will, I have my whole next like year and a half filming uploading schedule done. Like it's done. So when I miss uploads, I get very frustrated because I have to go back and fix everything. But um, I will decide what album that I'm going to do. Like I have the rest of the year planned out. I have basically next year planned out as well. And I will figure out what each song look will be like so i will listen to each song and then i will be like okay well this song makes me think of blue eye shadow and and you know black eye shadow or something very smoky something very dramatic and that is really what i write down and this look in particular i don't know what i was doing but i'm very very happy that i did um i actually wrote down specific shade names in my notes and was like james charles playground james charles cola and all these other things so i don't know if it was one of those times where i laid out all the palettes on my bed back when they would all fit and planned it because i honestly should probably revisit some of the thank you next songs and see if there are some newer palettes that i want to use because i don't have any looks planned with some newer palettes because i obviously didn't have them at the time um but you know it's it is what it is at this point, but yeah, I plan everything out months, months in advance. Um, I used to not do that, really. I used to never plan out videos in advance. I would sit down and be like, okay, we're gonna film, whatever. And it didn't really work all that well. Like Sweetener, my first music makeup series was not planned out in advance. The looks were planned out in advance, but they weren't planned out in any particular order until I think about halfway through. And I started doing that because it gave, I'm a very, I'm a very organized person. I like to make lists and having everything planned out in advance is very beneficial to me. So I decided like, you know what, I'm gonna plan everything out and then it transferred to um, eventually when I went to Scotland, I was pre-filming everything because I needed to know what I was gonna film. And I had everything pre-filmed for five weeks and I was like, okay, cool, that's what's going up, that's what's going up then. And it just carried over to this year. And you know, here we are. And honestly, it saves me a lot of time because not only do I have the looks planned out in advance, but I have the order they're going up planned out in advance and it's very very easy for me to sit down and be like okay this is what I'm feeling but sometimes looks don't turn out the way that I plan and I have said that before on my channel uh, I'll be like yeah this is not how to look this is not how I vision this look to look at all and I've had to change like everything and it's very frustrating but I really just wanted to talk to you guys today about whatever um mainly about school because I know a lot of my followers are um in school or about to be in school and a lot of my facebook friends want to know like Haley, what the hell are you doing with your life and for the longest time i didn't have an answer and i feel like i haven't given you guys a very good answer but eventually you guys will know um what my plan is and what is next because i have right now i think like a very long long education in front of me and that intimidates me I'm not gonna lie it intimidates me quite a lot and I'm like oh my god I won't be done with completely done with school until I'm like in my 30s and um I was upset about it upset about it last night with Caitlin I was telling her and I was like dude like I'm gonna be 32 and still in college I was like you know everybody else can be done and I was like, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not what I wanted to do, you know? And she was like, who cares? And I was like, I know I shouldn't care, but like I do. And I slept on it. And now I think I'm okay with it, you know? Cause there's nothing wrong with it. And I had a decision change. Like, hey, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I love psychology. It's very interesting. Um, I love the way the brain works. I mean, obviously, however, um, it's just, I never really had a click with it, you know, and I feel like every university student especially will understand what I'm saying, especially if you changed majors, like 80% of us do, but I never really had that moment and I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. Like I had ideas like, yeah, sure. I think I'd like to do this, you know, I might like to do that 
and I wasn't really set in stone. I was like, you know, whatever happens, whatever I, I like, well, I will like, and I'll know. And then you know it, I was a senior, and that's not what happened at all. Um, I never really had that moment. Like, I had ideas, like, sure. Like, for a long time, um, I wanted to do behavior analysis, and I told everybody that. It's on YouTube somewhere. Like, that's what I wanted to do, and I still find that very, very interesting. I mean, I have textbooks, legit textbooks, that I have on my bookshelf that I will read for fun because I think it's very interesting. But it's not something that, you know, when I really sat down and thought about it, I was like, am I really gonna do that forever? Like, that's not really what I wanna do. So, yeah. I wish I could tell you guys more. Like, I want to just spill the beans. Like, I'm really excited about everything. But I don't want to necessarily do that at the same time because I'm so excited about everything and I wanted to just tell you and be like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. And, Blah, 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 blah. But, um, you know, plans change, and I typically don't like to share things, especially this publicly. Like, this publicly. Um, before I know they're gonna happen for sure, because, you know, plans change, and, um, you know, maybe in two years when I'm going to get my second undergrad, um, I won't, I won't wanna do this anymore. I hope it's not the case because it would be very, very upsetting to me, but you know, plans, plans change y'all, plans change, people change, um, but I'm very, very excited about it. And now that I've wasted like 18 minutes of your life talking about school, let's talk about something else. So, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I think in my last video or the video before, I'm not totally sure, um, I addressed bean and you know he's my kitty um bean is very ill right now so i'm going to take the shade playground which is this one i'm gonna pack that on all over my lid but bean has an upper respiratory infection it's pretty bad um I'm not gonna lie it's pretty bad and I did mention it, I think, in a video. And he's not in here with me today because I kicked him out because he was annoying me, sadly. But he is doing really well. And I just want to give you guys an update because I know some of you guys are going to be concerned. Uh, he's doing really, really well. And we have a appointment for next week. Sorry, i got to put on chapstick. My entire mouth is, like, dry. Um, oh, delicious. But, um, we got an appointment next week with the vet to re-go over everything. So, um, he's improving, yes, but now Pickles is starting to cough and that happens a lot, especially with cats. And they're close to the same age. Like, Pickles is... Pickles is just a couple weeks older than Bean, like she's not that much older than him. So it's pretty common um, for them to get sick together. Um, Cause you know, they live together and they're close, in, they're close to the same age. So we are going back um, next week because today's already Tuesday and we didn't have any openings with work and everything and they didn't have any openings that lined up with our openings until next week, but it's fine. Um, because, you know, it's okay, but um, we're gonna go back because now Pickles is coughing and we're gonna be like, okay, so what's the next point of action? Do you, we start Pickles on antibiotic early and hoping that it fixes everything hoping that's not the case um, or do we continue to treat bean and pick his burrs and everything else like what is the plan so um, if you don't know um, exactly what goes on when a cat has a respiratory infection they're all different I mean obviously when people are sick it's different but for the most part this might gross you out so warning 
um, they'll like snot everywhere, mucus everywhere, you know, like sneeze, boogers stuck in nose, um, they'll cough up mucus um, really all the time, like there's not a time where he's not doing it. So it can get pretty messy. It can also get very, very frustrating, especially when you're, you know, trying to clean up and he's continuously coughing. He obviously can't help it, but it does still get frustrating. Um, and it's not fun for him and it's not fun for us either because, you know, we have to chase him down and like clean his eyes because his eyes will water and we'll have to wipe his boogers and everything else, you know? But it's okay because I've dealt with stuff like this like my entire life, so like it's fine. But, um, you know, that's, what, that's what's going on right now. And I am annoyed because where we adopted him from, we have adopted them before. We've never had any issues with them until we got Bean. And I don't think Caitlin's really annoyed. It's not really their fault. It's whoever fostered Bean's fault because he was just fostered and he, he was a bottle baby, which is why he's so clingy. Um, but he was a bottle baby and whoever fostered him didn't actually tell them the rescue that he was ill, you know, and the rescue didn't, didn't know. So we adopt him and he's sick. He's coughing everywhere. Um, he's coughing on the way home. And I actually messaged the lady from the rescue center. Sorry, my camera cut off. I said like, you know, Hey, like, are you aware that so-and-so his name at the time was different and I was like, is coughing and sneezing and you know we heard it on the way home like are you aware because typically other cats will get sick as well and I was like I just really just wanted to let you know for a heads up purpose like hey you might have some sick kitties on your hands and she was like no I had no idea like um we'll give you some medication and I was like yeah I'll just take him to the vet because I mean either way I was gonna take him to the vet just have him looked at because that's like the smart thing to do when you adopt a cat, especially when you have other cats in the home. Um, you just want to make sure that everything's, you know, good to go and he's fine and whatnot. So that's mainly what I've been dealing with. Um, I need a makeup up. So, uh, Bean is now doing very, very well. I mean, he's still sick, but he's not as sick so to me that's very very well um so i mean i'll take it but it's still frustrating at the same time um but i am frustrated a little bit with the foster because like how could you not notice and i um am a big you know involvement in my pet's lives for sure i mean i post them all the time um, i know not everybody snuggles their, their cats, especially if you're fostering them and you're like, I don't want to get attached. You know, it's, it's hard, but at the same time, like I don't necessarily believe that the foster didn't notice that he was sick um, because of how bad he was when we got him. You know, and we've had him now going on two weeks. So, you know, he's getting better, but I mean, he could have been treated for this a long time ago because uh, I don't really know how long he's been sick and that's what we told the vet we were like yeah I don't know like I don't know so um we didn't know if he was on like if he was already getting better or if he was already getting worse by the time we adopted him so it we kind of started you know in a blank area and we were like okay which frustrated me this is the elf glow primer stick i used to be obsessed with this you guys remember that yes so back from december of last year to july just not long ago um, i worked in a kitchen and you know i feel like everybody knows that i worked in a kitchen that's what i did you know that was the vibe um it wasn't my vibe however you know some jobs just are not for you and being in a kitchen was not for me i didn't really care for it and you know there were sure there were some things i liked about my job but for the most part i wasn't the biggest 
Dan. So I actually, now, um, just got my first full-time job. And I feel like I'm the only person in the entire planet to be excited about this. Um, but I was also very excited when I got my first job. Like I was really excited and I got my first full-time job and I haven't started yet because, you know, Miss Rona has um, put a damper on things and put a halt on things, but I'm really excited about it because, you know, it's something in a field that I've never, ever done uh, before. You guys know I loved retail for some strange reason. I really liked it. One second, hold that thought. Caitlin's ordering fire house subs. Sorry, Caitlin's ordering fire house subs. That's our latest obsession. I'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, my first full time job. I've never done it before. I loved retail, I loved working in um, retail. It was like something I really, really liked it, and I was. I actually cried when I quit. Um, it was just something that I really enjoyed. So I'm, I'm really excited about this position. I'm going to take this, um, do this, the Wander Beauty Go Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I don't know how I feel about this. So I keep using it and hoping that I'll like it. Um, but yeah. So I'm doing this kind of like a tutorial music and makeup because my music and makeups are, are tutorials. But I'm doing this, um, talky chit chat kind of life update video that way i don't have to film a separate where have i been video or life update video because i have missed a couple of uploads and i will get to that in a second um you guys are probably like girl you were doing so well for a couple weeks and all of a sudden you just like dropped off the face of the earth like what's going on you said you wanted to get back into uploading and i really really do um i really really do but i was having some difficult time um you know with handling depression and anxiety i was just not in a good place at all and it took a toll on me for a while so youtube unfortunately was put on the back burner i love doing it but sometimes i just can't bring myself to do it and i have tried before and you know i you can tell when I don't want to film and when I'm not feeling it and when I'm upset and when I'm not being myself. So I was like, no, we're not doing that. What foundation do I want to wear? This is a big decision. Guys, seriously, what foundation do I want to wear? <laughs> I have so many foundations i might have to do an updated foundation co uh, collection video because i haven't done one since i first started my channel and i bought a shit ton back in like march i think it was like march april it was right when we went on lockdown and luckily most of them i really liked we'll try this one again i just used it in my like last video or the video before but i said i was going to try it again on its own so that's what we're going to do this is the all may Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade 100 Cool Ivory. I don't know how I feel about it, so that's why I decided I'll use it again today. Um, yeah, so for like, I wanna say close to a month, I really wasn't feeling myself. Um, you know, I, I had a lot of personal things going on and it wasn't anything necessarily that like anybody did. It was just something some things that were going on that I don't really want to put on the internet, <laughs> but just things were going down. Okay, things were happening and I was not happy. Um, so unfortunately YouTube was put on the back burner and school is a priority to me, um, regardless of how much I complain about it. <laughs> um, Especially now that I know what I want to do with my life, I have this whole new motivation to, to do what I want to do and I've never had that before and honestly it feels weird, like I don't even feel like myself, that's how odd this whole, the realization like oh my god this is actually what I want to do for the rest of my life has made me feel like I feel so off. And I was just telling Caitlin literally last night that this is the first school year since freshman year of high school that I am not sick on the first day. 
and that was mind-blowing to me um, because I always got sick and I would lose my voice and I would be like raspy and nasty the first week of school and then like the second week I'm perfectly fine I wasn't running a fever or anything never was I just always lost my voice and my mom was always like oh you just have like gingivitis or something not gingivitis something else um but like maybe what I'm saying she was just say like whatever it's fine but this is the first year since freshman year of high school I'm a senior in college right now that I haven't been sick it's like this whole weird thing and like I don't know I feel like that's a sign like I took it as a sign you know like that's actually why I mentioned it last night I didn't tell Caitlin that I took it as a sign but she'll watch this video and be like girl but I took it as a sign I finally figured out what I want to do with my life and I'm not sick like what the heck and it's just mind-boggling but you know and I get, I get I'm telling you this because now I am working a full-time job that I haven't started yet I'm also working a part-time job which I have started and I absolutely love it it's you know something I've spoke about a little bit on Facebook not too much on you know YouTube or anything because you know I do want to keep where I work a little bit privately like I mean obviously people know because it's on my Facebook page and like things like that but like I don't want to put it just out on YouTube um just for you know privacy reasons um but I love it I absolutely love it and that's you know that job actually is what I think kind of made me realize some things and that was amazing um but um yeah so i'm telling you this because this semester this entire school year actually is very very important especially now with what i want to do with my life um i have to have a really high gpa um which i mean i never had a really terrible gpa but now my gpa has to be like really high um so there's a lot of pressure on me and I'm very nervous. So I'm telling you this because YouTube, I may miss a couple uploads here and there. I will upload when I can, obviously, because I love doing YouTube. It's a really fun hobby for me. I get, I relax doing it. I love, I love it. Everything. I love filming. I love editing. Um, I like filming a little bit more than editing now, but I love to film. It's something that I really, really enjoy to do. But unfortunately, it may be put on the back burner from time to time because the semester this first semester has been shortened to 14 weeks which is equivalent to a summer semester um so it's very very fast paced it's very we got to learn like four things and you know this entire semester because of um, covid and everything they don't want us to be on campus too long and i've actually swapped all of my classes to classes that i can do online and via zoom because i have people in my life with weak immune systems and you know I do, I am an essential worker, and it's just not something that I wanted to partake in. So I've, I only had to swap out two classes because all the other professors felt the same way as I did. Um, but from time to time, I probably will miss uploads because um, I do have to do really well in school. I never really did terrible, but I really do have to be like on my game now. So I'm very, very nervous. I'm very stressed out about it. But I feel like maybe talking to you guys will help a lot because you guys seem to, whenever I talk about stuff, you guys seem to get it. I've also missed like half of this section of hair. So I think that's what's supposed to be in this ponytail. So we're gonna fix that. So apparently I missed like half of it. So we're just gonna do this with no mirror because I don't have my glasses on and I can't see. So we're just gonna do this and hopefully it looks okay. The better or worse? It's worse, it's not as high now, but you know, we'll roll with it. Um, the foundation, talk about the foundation real quick. Um, it's pretty, it's matte. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I am going to get rid of it uh there's nothing wrong with it it's just a little bit too matte for my taste i mean it does say come from matte i was expecting it to be matte yes but i have other matte foundations that i really really like like 
um, the L'Oreal Infallible, and I am dry, so like how many matte foundations do I need? I have the NYX Total Control, I have the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Matte and Poreless, like I have other matte foundations that I like, um, so I don't really feel the need to have this. I mean, it's a really pretty foundation. If you are oily, you'd probably love this. It looks beautiful, I mean, from a distance, but when you look up close, you're like, oh. I haven't used one of these in a while. These are the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealers. Um, this one's in the shade Pale. I haven't used this in a while. I've been using some of my newer ones. Still love this, dude. This is my favorite concealer ever. I just haven't really used it recently. And I am aware I don't put a lot of concealer on because if I put a lot of concealer on, it looks really cakey. But, you know, that's just what it is life update video you know um let's see what else oh firehouse subs so i i ate a firehouse subs one time when i was younger with my parents and i hated it like i just did not like it and i went again with some co-workers we were on lunch and that's actually what they wanted and i was like you know what i'll try it i'll do it you know i'm sure i'll find something and that was probably about a month ago, going on a month ago. And <laughs> let me tell you something. I am obsessed, okay, I'm absolutely obsessed. I've eaten there too many times to be good for my own self, but you know, it is, you know, it's something I really, really like, okay? I really, really like it. Don't judge me. It's good. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the shade Dolce de Leche, and I'm gonna take the lighter side to set that concealer. Um, you know, it's, it's very, very yummy. So that's literally like all I've been eating. If we're eating out at all in this past month, we it's been firehouse ups. Caitlin and I are both on like a kick of firehouse ups, and we like it. It's yummy. Um, let's see, what is new? What else is new? I feel like there's so much. I haven't told you guys since the last time I filmed a like where have I been life update video. I filmed one not too long ago, but I feel like so much has happened since then. And like, I can't tell you guys cause I forget everything. I have a memory literally of a goldfish. Like it's so bad. Um, and I feel like there's so much I haven't told you guys that I am forgetting. Mm. Oh, uh, I do plan i did mention this i think my instagram stories or something maybe even on youtube somewhere i mentioned it somewhere i think it may have been actually instagram i think it was instagram but i was going to film a book collection video back in july um that's still coming okay just plan on it it's going to take me a long time i haven't read all the books that i own which some of you are gonna be very PO'd at, but I haven't read. Oops. I just dropped a brush. Oh, I haven't read all of them. Um, really for no particular reason other than I just like I I didn't really have that many books, and then Caitlin actually moved a couple of years ago and gave me like a crap ton. This is just a plain brush. I'm just using what was left over on it, and plain brush. Uh, I just haven't really read them yet. There's nothing wrong with them. I just haven't really had the time. And I've been reading recently, but I am going to do that video for you guys because it is something that, this is like not the brush I should have used because this brush had contour color on it and you can totally tell. Oops, I picked up the wrong brush and I used my contouring brush under my eyes. So now they're very dark, that's okay. We'll just roll with it. But we're gonna take that same powder and just use the darker side to contour. But I am going to do that. The reason I haven't done it yet is because it's going to take me a long time to film. Um, I know I haven't read all of them, but it's gonna take me a really long time to film it. I'm going to probably read like the notes on the back and go from there. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to take, I'm assuming over probably close to two hours. I mean, my um, tutorials take me about an hour. 
on average. And sometimes it can take longer if uh, my camera's acting up or uh, I keep messing up or the cats are causing me to have to re-say things or something. Sometimes my tutorials can take longer to film. So this video is gonna take me a while. So I haven't really filmed it because it's gonna take forever. This is the Tarte Park Ave Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer. This is the just like normal one, it's like shimmery. Um, so that video is coming, I don't know when. So totally hit my notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos uh, but yeah that is coming don't know when but it is sometime um, what else um, the videos or the books that I have read I will do like a mini review on I will totally let you guys know like hey I actually have read this one um, you know that's the plan Right now I'm reading a series, so for the past several months I've been reading one book from each of these series and I love it. Right now I'm reading uh, Breaking Silence, which is very, very good. Um, it's by Robert, I think his name is Tear, I think. I may be not correct, but um, it's the Storm and Silence series from Wattpad that's been published. It's I read it on Wattpad first off and I really liked it and when I heard that it got published I was like oh so I've been reading I like to read Wattpad stories that's been published quite a lot I have a, quite a few of them because I feel like that's amazing you know I'm gonna take the a ASPJ Bless blushed in paradise palette my camera cut off again I'm going to take like the first like nudie pink one Whew, my camera's probably gonna cut off again because my camera is dying good figure but you know that's the one really negative thing about this camera is the battery is so bad absolutely terrible but we will make a move on actually i'm doing rather well this is the third clip and i'm almost done so i mean to you guys you guys are probably like girl if you would shut the hell up you'd be done but that's actually not true i, I work faster when i'm talking it's like weird I just put on this. This is the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobe Cutter in the shade 120 Watt. It's very pretty. Um, I just took a little bit, like a really, really light amount of this and like dusted it everywhere since my face was a little matte. This is a little glittery for that. Honestly, like, probably way too glittery for that, but that's, that's what I did. Pola, that's the dark color we put in the crease. The look is very dramatic, but I actually had a lot more colors wrote down, but I was like, no, we'll, we'll keep it a little bit simple um, because I feel like the, the look would have been way, way, way too much if I would have done what I initially planned to do. So I'm very, very happy that I did not do that. Um, it's a really pretty look. It's very, very simple. I mean, it's what, three colors, I think? Three colors, but it's very, you know, dramatic because it is blue. So it's still something that, you know, a little out there for some people but it's pretty easy to achieve so if you are a little bit scared of color um i mean it's a very very easy technique i basically do the same technique in like every video unless i specifically use something else i'll say that uh, this is the shade cool i'm just putting that right underneath like right up underneath my lashes i wiped off the brush that i used it on originally i'm just doing it very lightly um i don't want it too dark but you know i do want it blue down there um yeah i did film an in-depth tutorial like how to video about over a year ago now almost two years i think um and i like go in depth of what i did back then i mean obviously my steps are a little different now but not too much um, my eye shape is you know they're not exactly the same so the technique is a little bit different than other people i guess i mean i don't really think so but i've been told that like oh you do it that way and i'm like yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna take 
Uh, I'm gonna take Starry Eye, which is the shade right here from the ColourPop palette. And I'm gonna use that to begin to blend out everything. The Blue Moon palette you could totally use for this look, like entirely. You, you don't have to have both. Um, but like most of you know, I have over 70 eyeshadow palettes. So I like to mix and match and you know, stuff so I can use like all of them almost as much as I possibly can. Like, and the Colourpop palette is perfect for that. I'm gonna take Moonlight, which is that light crease shade we used. Um, the Blue Moon palette has basically all of these colors in it. I literally think all of them. Um, I just wrote down James Charles and that's what we stuck to. I should have done eyeliner, but I didn't, and it's too late now, so. I like to do, if I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner, I like to do it before I do the foundation, um, because I do tend to mess it up every time. Every time. So, I'm actually gonna take the shade Lumi, which is the white in here. It's like a blue-white. It's white, but it has like a very strong blue reflect to it. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. It's a really pretty color. It is blue, so I'm going to put something else on top of it. Not that it doesn't work, but it's not what I really want. So I'm gonna take um, the shade Ring Light, which is this one. Can you guys see that? It's like this one right here. I'm gonna put that on top of it. Very, very lightly. Just to give it more of like a blue champagne look. Scare my ankle out. Let's see. This one. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And put that on my lashes. So now I'm going to take the Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner in the shade Fishnet. Yeah. I'm going to take this. This is the Sephora Liquid Lip Lipstick in the shade number one Pine. I've been obsessed with these. So. So I'm aware. All right, everyone, that is it for Needy. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and didn't mind me rambling too much. And make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you in my next video. Hey, Soul.